the last month i'm actually using 12 new apps and these are really useful and also these are game changer and for the best part about this all apps are absolutely free if you are a Mac user, you know that if you press on X on an app, it actually doesn't close the app. In a, you want it to close the app, you need to go in the top and then you have to type in quit to actually close the app. But things that there's another thing you can do, there's a shortcut you can do, come on and X to quit app. But things using this app is called Swift Quit. It actually gonna close the app by just pressing on X. Look at this, I just closed it to Spotify. I look at this, now if you just hold the command and tap, you're gonna see there is no, is, Spotify right here. So so now so now I'm gonna do the same thing with Notion. I just a closer. After that, just give it a one to two second and then hold the command and tab. You're gonna see for the uh, Notion is actually closed. How cool is that? So and if you find it split screen between like two apps, you can just uh, hover over the green and then you can just do only lay left or right and to go between two the apps. So like this is basic. So it actually get the job done. But things using an app called Tiles, it actually take it to the next level. Look at this. Is the same thing as a Windows computer. If I want to put this to the left, I just drag it and then put it to the left, just like that. If I want to put this to the right, I just drag it and put it to the right. As simple as that. But if you want to do like a, a more app, I can do like a bottom like that. But here for uh, this one, I can just do it like that. But I can do the same thing with like a multiple apps as well. I, I can just put this to the right. For the uh, Spotify, I can it to the bottom left. How cool is that? So within this few seconds, I have like four different apps at the same time. For app number three, it's called Raker. So if you actually use your Apple Spotlight, just know Apple Spotlight is actually pretty decent. It actually get the job done. But things using is something called Raker, it can actually take it to the next level. So so basically, you can do the same thing as like in a normal Spotlight. You can open up any app you want. You can just go and do other things as well. But things for the for all like my, my favorite, if you just type in my schedule, just type in M, it's gonna bring up my default calendar. So I don't use Apple Calendar. Can I actually use Notion Calendar? So it's gonna bring all the things that is important from Notion Calendar to here. So I have a membership that is to have to make a, a content, and then if I go down, it's gonna give, it's gonna bring up like a, a more stuff I need to do. So this is gonna bring all the information from my calendar to here without even opening the calendar up. But things, all this. Uh, like these are a basic so obviously I, if you want to like convert something you do 100 cm to like a, a to less to m then it's gonna convert that but things that is not the best part if you actually go to the setting then type on extension there's a lot of extension you can do so all these are, are thing you can actually do so look at this but things if you just tap on plus then tap on install from the website so then instead from the store so it is their store look at this i have all I have access to all these apps as well. So these are all, all like a third party apps, but I have access to it. So look at look at this. I have like a Spotify, just tap on it. So I can actually control it. Spotify. So only thing I have to do with this, uh, the Spotify control to uh, bring that to my records, we just tap on install. After that, it's gonna install my to my uh, records. And after that, look at this, there's a tons of things you can do. There's even Zoom. If you just tap on it, it's gonna show what you can do. Just tap on install and then it's in install it. So now if you just go back to uh, Raycast, okay, so look at this. So now if you just go back to Raycast and type in Zoom, I can actually join a Zoom meeting uh, like from here to, to, without without even opening the app. How cool is that? For app number four is called Cap, and this is one of the simple skin recording app. So only thing you have to do, you have to just open it up, and that's it. After that, it's gonna, after a few seconds, it's gonna give up this menu. So if you need to record the whole screen, you can just type in that, and then it's gonna record the whole screen. But things, if you enter like a select area, you can just tap on this. So after that, you have to just tap on, but things, if you enter like, if you enter like a, like a select area, you can just tap on it. And after that, there's like a bunch of options you can get. So let's do 16 by 9. Then it's going to be right here. And after that, if you want to make this bigger or smaller, you can. And after that, if you just tap on record. And that's it. And after that, it's going to start recording. But things, if you go to the mini bar right here, it, it's going to be pop up right here. So if you just tap on that, it's going to stop recording. And then it's going to give you the video like that. After this, if you want, you can save this here and download it. App number five is called Mac Mouse Fix. So if you actually use the external mouse, you know the external mouse on a Mac is not that good. So if you use Apple mouse, you know Apple mouse or Apple trackpad, you know you get lots of feature as well, and then it is really smooth. By using this app, it's called Mac Max. It's gonna bring the same thing, so it's not gonna bring all the gestures and stuff. But if you use the external mouse, it's gonna make your life so much easier with the scroll and stuff. It's so smooth. So it is exactly like using an Apple uh, mouse because with the Apple mouse with the scroll, it's really smooth. So by by using this app, it's gonna bring the same thing over here. If you use external mouse, it doesn't matter any mouse you can use. It's gonna make your life so much easier. For app number six, it's called monitor control. So if you use the external monitor like me all the time, so then you have to get this. Anytime you need to control the brightness, you have to go back over your monitor and sometimes it does not even work to control the brightness. But this, using this, only thing you have to do, you have to just use your default brightness. After you open up the app, only thing you have to do is your default brightness. 
you can do the same thing for a, a keyboard as well the brightness right here then it's going to control the brightness of the uh, of it the momo motor and with this it, it make your life so much easier so it's a simple app and then it's a simple app but it just works for app number seven is called a browser something so uh, that's the name of the app so it have only one job so anytime you need to open up any link so let's say I, I, I want to open up this link i just tap on it it's gonna give me the it's gonna give me this menu right here so with this i can actually choose the browser i want to open a link to so anytime let's say i have like a lot of browser say if you have lots of browser and i didn't open a, a, up a link so far you need to open up a, like a arc or like a google chrome or something else or, or, or things if you need to open up a, a, a like a zoom link other than opening up like a, in a browser like sometimes if you just tap on the link it's gonna open up in the browser you can see you select the zoom right here and then it's gonna pop up the link in the zoom so with this it have only one job but things with this it actually make your life so much easier okay for app number for app number eight it's called arc and this is the browser that i actually use other than using safari because safari is pretty bad like it's decent it gets the job done but things arc is just better so this is a, a chrome replacement so it have all the feature from a chrome so you can actually use the extension as well but things for me i like it because of this new tab right here over in the left over here if you just tap on a new tab it's gonna open up a new tab but but things that is not even good thing that is not even the best for it if you just right here just tap up on it to, to Tab is it's just gonna it's switch there so with this it, it actually make your life so much easier and how cool and fun this is but things that is actually not the best part if you actually go to the website and then tap arc education if he is any of this app right here so this is hard to see but right there if it's google calendar notion calendar so i is actually notion calendar just tap on it it's gonna make your life so much easier so if you connect the account you can other than opening up notion calendar or like the app or go to the website you can actually set it like a create like a like a bring your stuff a, just from this a tab menu right here so it's gonna pop up right here after you log in obviously and then you can just uh, you can use it from here as well so this makes your life so much easier for app number nine it's called a pdf gear so with this it can do all the basic stuff so you can edit a, a pdf if you want you can add arrow and stuff for anything anything if, if you want to edit a pdf this is the thing that you get but things that is not the best part if you actually zoom in for you guys you can actually convert to any of this right here from a pdf to word file or like excel or, or a slide you can do that as well but things if you need to convert to like something else from like a pdf to word or, or like a if you need to convert like a, a file to like a pdf so you have like image but things you need to convert to a pdf you can do all of that by using this app for app number 10 is called bit water and this is the password manager i use so obviously this is free and also this is open source with the open source it actually make your life so much easier because it is actually pretty safe so the point of using a password manager other than using one password for everything you use this and then all your password and stuff is going to save right here so only thing you have to just remember a uh, only one password and that's it it's called the master password you have to just remember that and then after that yes sir so with this you can obviously generate a new password without even doing anything you just tap on the generate and then you can do how many character and after that with this it with this it actually make your life so much easier uh, and also with this it actually make your, all the password really like a, a, a secure and safe so make sure if you don't use a password manager make sure it's this one for me i actually use ton of them but this is the this is my favorite it's free and if you want you can have like an un, un, unlimited device and also you can have an like, unlimited account as well so for the app name it's called a, a, a bit but then one more time for app number 11 it's called thinker tool so if you don't know what the with the terminal like the apple terminal right here you can actually get all of this but things lots of people don't don't know how to use terminal including me i i don't know how to use it but things using something like this it have like a loss of benefit you can as well so there's a tons of things you can do so all this thing if you want to do it you actually have to do it by the terminal so that's not that's going to take time but using this app the only thing i have to do if you just click on check and after that if you just go up a logo and click on restart now for that it's gonna do it for, for, for you so let, look at this this is the one i i have all the time it's actually dark and it's the display uh, is a disability key delay so for me i i have my dark hidden right but things anytime if i go uh, if you just go in the bottom so someday it's just a delay but using this look at this it's a, a, a really smooth look at this so somebody just means the key you want you to turn but other than that it is actually a pretty smooth so there's a ton of they can do this application this desktop the general the safari there's a there's like a ton of you can actually do with this app okay for app number two is apple shortcut so this is the shortcut app that is actually by apple but things this app is actually so underrated because of how much stuff you can do so if you just tap on the gallery right here these are all the things you can do and over here it's, it's just gonna over here you can make playlists you can do so a uh, distraction so if you just tap on that if you just use that it's gonna a uh, distract 
it's going to sub distract so it's going to cause all that app other than the one you're using or here if you need to split screen between like two apps or like multiple app you just tap if you just tap on plus and then it's going to go there here and after that you can choose the two app so if you just tap on the shortcut the two app that you want so let's do like a safari and also spotify if you just tap on this shortcut once just tap on it and then it's going to run it and then it's going to bring the uh, a two app together so this is actually pretty useful but things the one that i actually use is called the called quit all apps so if we just tap on it it's going to quit all the other apps uh, other than that you know, i'm using it's going to quit up all the app that is not like a third party and stuff so those are all the time open so that that's why it's not going to close but every other app that i'm actually using in the dock is going to close all the other apps so with this so apple shortcut is like a real under so the upper shortcut there's a ton of things you can do if you actually look for it there's a ton of things you can do so that is it for this video if you receive 14 more apps for mac that's obviously free make sure you click on this video right here peace out